Alrighty guys, it is time to discuss the buy and avoid cards for week number 9 in Hockey Ultimate Team. And just like last week, we're going to start off with the buys early on here. And there is a couple, again, I want to do ones that are lower costing and ones that are higher. So I can give you guys all types of you know price ranges and player types that we're looking for, whether it be free to play or someone that spends a lot of coins on the game. So just like last week, how I was shouting out Tyler Myers, uh, Nikita Zadorov, you're a free-to-play player. He's gigantic at six foot five, two thirty. Comes with the ninety-five body checking. Now his skating is a little slow, but if you can get the SP synergy, it's going to take care of that. And again, this is for the free-to-play players, the guys that are just starting out. You're looking for good players to go after, and this would be one. He's around, <clears throat> excuse me, he's around five K and under three, even lower. And a very good card to start out with on the back end. If you remember last year, the Zorov card was extremely difficult just to get by in the offensive zone uh, at the blue line. And it remains the same thing this year. The next heavy hitter card is going to be the 88 Clark Gillies. The reason why I say to go after him is he's around 50k. But if you can get SP on him to give him plus 3 in speed... He's going to be right around 90 with a shot that's 87 and 90 overall, plus his offensive and defensive awareness stats and his body checking and puck control passing. All of that is very good. As long as you have the SP synergy activated with this card, you're going to be in really good shape, and I think you're really going to like what he brings, especially for only 50k. So, number three is going to be base Sidney Crosby. The reason for it is... At 70k and now falling under, he's still very good for that price point because his face-off is still a 93 overall. Puck control, passing, hand-eye, and deking, all great stats for centermen are just under 90 as well. His shot's above 85, and his speed is at 90 with acceleration and agility being over 92. So this is still a great card. You just need to watch out because if people get kind of caught up with the prime times and the you know the better informs where the 89 comes out and then the 91. A lot of people tend to forget about the base card, but if he falls to under 75 or under 60, even under 65, which he will shortly, this would be a definite card to pull, especially starting out because he's going to be a great sentiment for you with that face-off stat. Next up is Colton Pareko, another cheap one, around 30k. Again, right defensemen are still in a very rough spot. There's only a few really good ones, and at 6'6", 230, he's gigantic. He's got right around 90 speed. Again, if you have SP on, he's going to be even better. Slapshot power is a 90, and then he's got that body checking as well as that stick checking stat being around 85. His awareness stats are good. Right-handed defenseman, again, tough to come by, but as you're building your team up, this would be a great card to go after. Uh, maybe to replace Zadorov if you're looking for another big guy, but this would be a great card to have and uh, at a great price point at around 30 k um, Again, as long as SP is activated, you're in good shape, and even if it's not, 88 speed isn't tragic. And lastly, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I just want to remind you guys that there has been leaks of the gold master set player items. And if it's anything like what we've seen so far, when they release a card with a higher overall, they give you an opportunity to upgrade. And I don't see why the icons, the, the silver icons, are going to be any different. For example, we saw, I believe, a 98 or a 97 Peter, gold Peter Forsberg. You have to remember that as the other master set items that come out, those are probably going to be the highest rated cards for that player for a lot of them, especially in the heavy hitter section. But when a lot of people forget about is the actual um, the actual normal icons because they don't you know they just overlook them that they can be upgraded. For example, I want to bring up Paul Coffey, who's going for about four seventy nine here. He I've seen him go for about four fifty. Um, the reason why I bring him up is there's a few other left defensemen that are just as good, if not better. Um, Darlene is an, is one that comes to mind, who might not get a you know a 99 or a high high rated card. Um, Muzzin would be a perfect example. There's really no way that Muzzin is going to get a higher card than the 90 master set heavy hitter one. So if you're going to spend the four or five hundred thousand coins to get that instead of getting Paul Coffey, just keep in mind that some point down the road, Paul Coffey is going to be upgradable, which holds a lot more value. And um, just just something to keep in mind here. Now, it's not confirmed that all of these cards are going to have gold collectible or gold master set ones. I believe the only ones we've seen so far are uh, Gordy Howe, Jacques Plante, and um, Peter Forsberg. But just keep that in mind, guys. 
when you're looking at those master set guys that are just a little bit better than the the um, uh, than the um, silver master icons. Okay, so just keep an eye out for those ones. So now on to the avoids of the week, in my opinion. Again, these are going to be a little bit more expensive, whereas the buys were pretty cheap. I'm going to tell you about the avoids that I think that you should just stay away from in the meantime because they are going to be stupid expensive. The first, kind of obvious, it did just come out today, but the 91 McDavid. Now, McDavid is a stupidly good card, okay? He's got end game speed at 99. His shot is just around 90 as well. His hand-eye, deking, passing, all of that is great. His face-off stat kind of makes him a winger still, um, but as it goes on, he's going to get a little better. Just remember, guys, in the first little while of the month, they're they're going to be at their highest, as in, I mean, you're looking at about a mil. If he'll obviously go for a little bit lower, but even 700,000 coins, I would wait a little bit lower just because he's going to be replaced. More Team of the Weeks. He's going to get Team of the Week at some point. He's going to be replaced there. He's probably going to get another prime time or something, a milestone. It's just it's Connor McDavid. It's the same thing goes with like Pasternak and, and Mar Marchand and Crosby. Just be wary at early on in the month going after and spending a ton of cards on this one because eventually he will drop and there's going to be more pulled. It's just that everyone sees the shiny new toy in Connor McDavid and wants to blow all their coins on it. I'm just telling you guys, just be careful. The next one I'm going to talk about is the Master Set Carter Hart. There's only a few left on the market here, but if you're spending anywhere close to this amount of coins on Carter Hart, it just makes no sense at all. Um, there's better goalies that are that are far cheaper, and just because he's a 90 overall doesn't mean he's the best. I mean, he is only six foot two. There are bigger goaltenders like that Hoivinen, um, and he's even half the price of the uh, of Carter Hart. There's no reason that he should be go for more than what Patrick Y is. In my opinion, the Patrick Y I've used all year long has been one of the best Hutt goalies I've ever used ever in Hutt. Um, so stay away from, you know, Carter Hart. And I, I don't know why people are spending this much coins on him. I've seen him going for around 350 for about a couple weeks now and just thought I'd get it out there. The next one I want to bring up is actually two. Um, it's going to be the heavy hitter Tom Wilson and the heavy hitter Ryan Reeves. These guys are going for around 400k. Um, the reason why is what I mentioned earlier about the Paul Coffey in the master set. These guys probably aren't going to be upgraded. So if you're doing, let's say, you're spending all your coins and doing the untradeable, um, you know, the untradeable sets and whatnot, or you're going to look at these cards. They're going to drop quite a bit eventually because cards will keep going up, whereas the the Silver Master icons, you know, the the you know, the Legends, those guys, are eventually going to go way up and spike way up. You saw it with the Chris Chelios because it only costs a little bit to upgrade him to the Master set. So just be careful because these guys are probably not going to receive another Master set item or a, or a heavy, huge upgrade at all during this year so you have to be willing to know that you're going to lose coins if you keep them on your team for a while and invest a ton in him especially if you do them the untradeable way be really careful of that if you're gonna if you really want one of the heavy hitters find a way to buy them outright because again you're gonna it's, it's a long large investment for a return that's going to you know be really diminished later on um the another one that i do want to discuss as well uh, is like I said is the Jake Muzzin and it's for the same reason but it's not nearly as much as the other two because his speed is pretty end game at just under 99 and he does have that 89 power and 82 accuracy but again he's not really going to receive another one where you could have Paul Coffey who's obviously slower but has a better shot and will be upgradable at some point in the year um, as he's one of the best defensemen you know, ever. So um, just be careful of that. And I wanted to point that out because I see a lot of people still asking me what ones they should make and things like that. When it comes to the master set items, um, you need to be careful what you're making now because we're getting into like November, December, where um, you're going to see you know prime times and things like that reach up to these kinds of prices. Like, I mean, McDavid's already hit 91. Now, obviously, he's a little bit of an outlier because he's so high already. But now, because they've kept all of the master set players at a rate around 90, the car, the base cards are starting to catch up with the prime times and teams of the week. So, guys, just be wary of that. That was for my avoids this week. Is a lot of the master set guys. I just want you guys to, you know, not lose a ton of coins and bring it to your attention that at some point we're going to be able to upgrade these guys. I have no confirmation, but if it's just going by what they're doing already, it would be absolutely mind-boggling and crushing to the community if they don't allow an upgrade of the Silver Hut Master Icons 
at some point throughout the year when the when the gold ones do get released so just keep that in mind guys so guys that is gonna do it for the week nine buy and avoid let me know what you think in the comments section down below we're kind of getting to the point now where the market's kind of caught up with how the new content works um again nicholas and and the team over there are doing things a lot differently this year and it has changed a lot of things and the prices for cards and whatnot are you know you know, rapidly changing just because of how how the, the events were working and things like that. But now we're starting to see how events work and how the card releases are working and the market's starting to catch up and it's everything's starting to even out now. So the you know the the steals and whatnot are getting harder to find, but I'm gonna do my best to try and find them for you every week. So guys, thank you for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.